What's the difference in knowing God and knowing God? Hey, I'm Lucas Kitchen, and that's what we're going to discuss in this episode, number 10 of Salvation and Discipleship. Is there a difference? So if you have your study guide, look at topic number 10, and you'll see that under salvation is the term know God, and under discipleship is the term know God. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this isn't a typo. This brings up a very valuable tool in our ability to accurately interpret the Bible. So what we're going to learn about in this episode is what I might call word fluidity. What that means is that words can have different meanings based on their context. An example might be if you asked me if I know a celebrity. So I could say, yeah, I know that celebrity. By that, I could mean a number of different things. I could mean I'm aware of his existence. I could mean that I've met him once. Or I could mean that we're close friends. Or I could mean that he's my dad. I don't, you know, it depends on the context. And so when we use the word no, as with many different biblical words, we need to understand there's some fluidity. And so we have to look at the context to find out what that word is actually talking about. So the first reference to this phrase is in John 17, 3. Let's take a look at that. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. It's very clear. Salvation comes by believing in Jesus for everlasting life, and he defines that as knowing God. So in this context, at least, knowing God can mean salvation. But in this very same book, we find a different meaning for the term to know God. Let's look at that one. John 14, 9 says, Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? This is talking about Philip, who is already a believer, who has everlasting life, but Jesus says, you have not known me, and therefore you have not known the Father. So it has to mean something different than salvation. And in fact, it does. What he's saying is that if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And Philip, I'm sitting right here in front of you, but you don't even recognize God who is right in your presence. So here he's talking about a close acquaintance. He's talking about a familiarity, not salvation. Now we're going to get a little bit more texture on that type of knowing from 1 John. Let's turn there. 1 John 4, 7 says, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. It's important to understand the audience to which these verses were written. Notice in verse 7, he uses the word beloved. This is a word that he uses of believers. So this verse, and in fact all of 1 John, is written to this church of mature believers. So these are people that already have salvation. So he's not giving the plan of salvation here, although he does reference being born again. Now notice here that he doesn't say everybody that's born of God loves and knows God. He says the inverse. He says that everybody that does love and knows God, those are ones who are born of God. But what he leaves open here is that there are some believers who won't love and know God. So what we find here is that it's only believers that are capable of knowing and loving God. But he doesn't say that all believers will do that. In fact, he's instructing believers to love God. The fact that he needs to tell them to do it means that it's not automatic. Once again, loving God is about actions and obedience. And he ties this action and obedient love to knowing God. So in this context, we find that John is talking about a discipleship knowledge of God, a close acquaintance, a familiarity. So, in some cases, to know God is talking about salvation, but in other cases, it's talking about discipleship. Finally, I want to look at one more quick verse to give us a description of the meaning of knowing God in a discipleship context. Here's 1 John 2, verse 3. Now by this we know that we know Him 
if we keep his commandments. We know that we know him if we keep his commandments. And we've talked about at length that salvation doesn't come by keeping commandments, but as the free gift of God that comes through faith. So we find that here, to know him can mean that it's connected to obedience. The bottom line is that words in the Bible can have a range of meanings. So if you're sharing the gospel and you say that you need to know God or you need to know Christ, it's important that you give context and explanation for what kind of know you mean. If you're talking about salvation or discipleship, you need to clarify what type of knowing God you happen to mean. If you want to go deeper, I'd encourage you to get my book, Salvation and Discipleship, Is There a Difference? The chapter on this subject is packed with lots more information that we couldn't cover in this video. And I'd encourage you to go to simplybelief.com slash grow where you can get subscribed and get notifications for this Bible study. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in episode 11.